Uh, the Orthopedic Academy office in Chicago has a mannequin in the lobby. This is our College of Orthopedic Surgery. And this entire skeleton has, the entire skeleton is replaced in, with what we today can replace. So if you start on the head, we've got plates and screws for the skull. And if, it's, if, if it comes to the neck, we've got joints to put in between the discs in the neck. We have little plates to fuse the neck. If your collarbone breaks, we have a little plates for the collarbone. If you have a breastbone that breaks, we have a little plate for that. There are surgeons that are putting tiny little plates on broken ribs. We can fuse the spine. We can replace the hips. We can replace the knees. We can put rods in the femur. We can put rods in the tibia. We have an ankle joint. We have tiny little plates for every bone in the foot and every bone in the hand. I want you to imagine walking into the academy office and seeing a skeleton with every aspect and every single bone having some kind of artificial device that has been developed over the course of the past 40 or 50 years. It's amazing. And we're constantly learning and doing more and more. And the patients get quality of life. Fractures are easier to take care of. Patients are in the hospital. Um, uh, less of the time, it is an absolute high. And one of the reasons I went into orthopedics was because of immediate gratification. I just happened to be that kind of a guy. If a bone is broken and I straighten it, I put on a cast, the tears are dry, and the, and the six-year-old is going home after falling off and wiping out on a, on a bicycle with a big smile on their face. Immediate gratification. So orthopedics is a fun specialty and we enjoy it. And we get the same gratification when we take care of patients with artificial joints. I had a 28-year-old woman walk into the office, but she wasn't walking. She hadn't been walking for three years. Every joint in her body was affected by rheumatoid disease. She was a juvenile rheumatoid. She could not straighten her knees and hadn't been able to do that in three to five years. We put knees in both of her knee joints and she went on to have a baby and about two years after her knee replacements I saw her at a local restaurant and she was bringing the baby over because her whole life had changed. So this is orthopedics.